They took two overtimes to score, but a winner finally emerged in a collegiate battle for Mercer bragging rights. And she had a great game in today's county soccer tournament. In fact, she's had great games all year. Now hear her own personal account of greatness. I'm Mark Fontes with sports. The NCAA Field Hockey Championship Tournament needed one final entrant Tuesday. And for local fans of the sport, this play-in game was between two Mercer foes, the Ryder Bronx and Princeton Tigers. It wasn't until double OT that someone finally created the net as Princeton hands Ryder a 1-0 heartbreaker at Class of 52 Stadium Tuesday afternoon. The goal came from Tiger Sidney Kirby, 3 minutes and 48 seconds into the second overtime frame. Teammate Alyssa Pyros got the assist. Ryder, meanwhile, kissed a 15-game winning streak goodbye with the loss, despite senior Virginia Eguskiza tallying five big shots. The Bronx season ends while the Tigers advance to that aforementioned NCAA tournament. To high school soccer we go. Pennington's boys and girls did battle earlier today for their respective MCT titles. We'll have highlights tomorrow, but today we get to know one Red Raider rat who in her third year with Pennington Varsity Soccer has helped her team reach familiar heights, but only after conquering new challenges. Center forward Erica Murphy, who never settles for anything shy of excellent, knowing that being challenged is inevitable. Being defeated? That's optional. Every single day is a new new challenge, a new opportunity, every game. It's been said that leadership is the challenge to do something more than average. When you see Erica Murphy play soccer, many adjectives come to mind, but average is not one of them. I started from a really young age. I, I Once I started playing soccer at rec league, I fell in love with it. And ever since then, I've just keep going and keep going. And it just seems to be the only sport that really fit me well. And it's indeed a great fit with 16 goals and 5 assists on the year through Sunday's Prep A title win over Lawrenceville, the junior center forward excels in many phases of the game. She's a, a tireless worker. You know, we love the fact that she she always wants the ball. Uh, we give her a hard time about that sometimes, but uh, you know, you can't you know you can't coach that. But you can definitely work with it. And Murphy's crafty, charismatic footwork while on an offensive attack has become her trademark style of play that she strives to perfect more and more. Playing as a center forward, I have to say, is one of the, one of the funnest jobs, but one of the could be one of the most frustrating. I'm not the fastest girl where I'm going to run down the lines, but my ability with my body and I can hold off players and distribute really well to people all around me. Erica Murphy is phenomenal, uh, as we know. I mean, she's a great goal scorer. She's the master poacher of goals. I think uh, everyone in the county knows that. They know because most other Mercer County teams have never beaten the Erica Murphy Red Raiders. With nine straight state titles and an ongoing winning tradition in the MCTs, much of which Murphy has been there for, she says Pennington is where her heart is. We're so close together and we've been keeping the tradition alive for about nine years now and we want to keep going and keep a legacy. Fortunately for Murphy, she's got some more time on board this legacy. The 11th grader, though, has already verbally signed on to play at the collegiate level just two short years from now. I'm going to be attending Monmouth University, so I'm excited about that, but I hope to take it further than college, go play after it. She finds herself in the right place now at a great time to make those dreams reality, and above all else, Murphy thanks her teammates and coaches for being so much more than just that. We're always together. If you come to campus one day, you'll see the girls together, the soccer team together, but not just each other with the soccer team. We're, we're always a family in school, and we're always welcome to new people. You can't say enough about Erica. She's uh, really uh, played hard this year. She's carried some injuries all the way through the season, but it hasn't stopped her. That's the Murph we know. What, at the end of the day, when you look back at each game, I mean, what would you say your favorite thing about the sport is? Definitely the feeling when you win a game. Winning a game is my, my type of high. You know, when everyone's happy, we come off the field cheering and screaming when you put your heart out on the field and you give everything you have and nothing's left. And the highlight footage seen in this high school athlete special brought to you by our friends at the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems, an authorized brother sales and service center. We change the way small business does business, Prior NAMI. Their 2-0 win over Rancocas Valley might have been early yesterday, but Steinert's boys soccer squad, who entered state play as the 14th seed and two games under 500, is now one win away from a Central Jersey Group 4 championship. They beat the RV Red Devils in a thrilling semifinal yesterday at home. Friday, they'll see if they've got one more miracle left in their satchel here in 2011. They travel to East Brunswick to take on the undefeated Bears for the Group 4 title. And that's all for sports on this Wednesday. Stay tuned now for Mercer County Close-Up.